I'm a big believer in getting a homemade dinner on the table whenever possible, even on those busy weeknights. So we want something that's quick to prepare, super quick to cook and packed full of flavour. This pesto chicken ticks all of those boxes. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. This pesto chicken is all cooked in one tray with minimal fuss and it's on the table in less than 30 minutes. And the flavours, oh my gosh, they work so well together. Now I've got my oven preheating to 200C or 400F and we're going to slice up some cherry tomatoes. I've got 400 grams, which is a little under a pound, of cherry tomatoes here and I'm slicing them in half and then adding them to a medium sized baking dish. We're going to sprinkle over a tablespoon of corn flour. This will help to thicken the sauce later along with a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and pepper and give everything a good mix together. You want to really get in there with your hands. Now add in two cloves of minced garlic, 120ml or half a cup of chicken stock, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar and a tablespoon of pesto. Now you can use homemade pesto if you prefer, but if you want something super speedy, then shop-bought basil pesto works just fine. Now we're going to give those lovely, fresh smelling ingredients a good stir together. Top the tomatoes with four medium-sized chicken breasts. Spread the chicken breasts with some more pesto, about two tablespoons altogether. Sprinkle on 60 grams, which is a little over half a cup, of grated mature cheddar cheese. Now we're going to add in a little bit of crunch by topping the chicken with some breadcrumbs. I've got 25 grams, which is about half a cup of panko breadcrumbs in my bowl here. To that I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon each of paprika, salt and pepper and one tablespoon of olive oil. Give that a good mix together until the breadcrumbs are thoroughly coated. Sprinkle the breadcrumb mixture on top of the chicken. Place the dish in the oven and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to take the chicken out of the oven and sprinkle over a tablespoon of pine nuts. Then we'll place the chicken back in the oven and cook for a further 10 to 15 minutes until that chicken is cooked right through. We're adding the pine nuts in at this stage so they get lightly toasted, which adds a great flavour alongside that pesto and those cherry tomatoes. Remove from the oven, then stir in three tablespoons of double or heavy cream into the liquid and tomatoes at the base of the dish. Sprinkle with a little fresh basil and you're ready to serve. And that's how you make my fantastic quick and easy pesto chicken. The perfect quick family dinner that's packed full of flavour and the whole family will love. Hope to see you next time for more delicious recipes. Bye!